Hey everybody, welcome back to No Jumper News. It's Adam22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. OTF member Duty Lowe is facing some seriously disturbing allegations from an ex-girlfriend, but he says they're not true. According to the stripper turned rapper FTN Bay, Duty Lowe allegedly sodomized her five-year-old son shortly before they broke up. On Wednesday, FTN Bay addressed the situation on Instagram, posting an audio recording of a conversation with her son, followed by a lengthy caption. The boy spoke about allegedly being assaulted by Duty Lowe. Warning, what you're hearing is my five-year-old son Wesley cried to me about what my ex-boyfriend did to him. For the last two months, my son was pooping in his pants. It was so bad I had to put diapers back on him. October 1st, my son finally told me what had happened to him. I'm thankful to God because a lot of kids don't speak up because they were scared just like my son. I've just been dealing with this for almost a month and it's been the hardest thing I have ever had to do in my life. I will not remain quiet for one more second. From there, the woman accused Duty Lowe of using three screws that he found in her toolbox to penetrate the little boy. August 6th, I had a show in Orlando and OTF D-Lo was at my house along with my roommate and my son and his three-year-old cousin. Once I left, the sick man welted three screws that he found in my toolbox and shoved them up my son's anus. Scared and afraid, my son hid the screws outside so he couldn't find it and do it again and never told me about it. He was trying to be so tough that he dealt with this for two months and it clearly was affecting him. Never in a million years I would think that this would be my story. My boyfriend sexually assaulted my son. My son and my life will never be the same. This is not a sympathy post or a clout post. This is simply me, a heartbroken mother who is doing everything that I can for justice for my son while I'm patiently waiting for the police to complete their investigation. I needed to speak up and expose the sick man to warn other females with kids and maybe other girls who dealt with him should talk to their kids. This shouldn't have been his first time, but he picked the right family to fuck with. You just never know who people really are and what they're capable of. Stay blessed. Duty Lowe has since denied the allegations in the presence of his attorney. On Instagram Live, his attorney suggested that this was simply a case of defamation. The attorney, who only identified herself as Ariel, claimed that the audio provided by FDM Bay was clearly edited. She also accused FDM Bay of harassing Duty Lowe and being upset because things didn't work out her way. That's what this is. She's harassing my client. She's attempting to bully him. She's using false information about my client to defame him and his character. And I will personally make sure that any and all legal remedies we have available will be pursued because we just can't live in a society where people do this, where they say these things, and more importantly, where this is okay. It shouldn't be okay. In addition, the attorney told Duty Lowe's followers to report FTM Bay's Instagram post as bullying or false information. So for the record, OTF Duty Lowe, he has put out a statement and I figure that for transparency's sake, we should read this here. I was gonna wait to post this, but this lady playing with my name, assassinating my character, accusing me of committing a crime against a child that is false. I got four daughters that love me and I would never harm a child in any way. She clearly is sick and needs help. The girl is pressed and y'all believe anything. This video is the first video she made and sent to me. The one y'all heard is the sixth recording. She's grooming him to say this. She has been contacting my friends and family, harassing them for weeks. Y'all need to use y'all brain because if this was remotely true, there would be evidence and I would be in jail. Hopefully y'all can wait the time and finna take for this to play out because I'm not about to sit back and allow someone to lie and defame me because she's mad that I ain't want her. This is some serious shit. Let's just point that out first. I wanna make it clear that uh, we're not taking a side on who's telling the truth or not. I can kind of imagine both scenarios playing out. It's actually really hard for me at this time to even get a, a hunch of, of what is accurate and, and what's really going on here. But this is some disturbing shit. That video was very, very disturbing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh, being a father, I almost shed a tear just listening to, to that audio um, of that child, bro. Um, it's real it's real fucked up because you have two people saying that both are lying and shit too so on one hand if that man did that shit he need to be hung up by his goddamn ball sack and fucking uh uh, uh burning hell you feel me but on the other hand if the mom if you sitting there coaching this kid to do that shit you a real sick fuck and there's a big place in hell for your ass I, for real for real the scary thing is that maybe we're never gonna know 
who's telling the truth or not, or at least it's gonna be very uh, difficult to tell. And meanwhile, you got a kid, an innocent kid stuck in the middle of this who is either scenario, either he was sexually assaulted or he's just being used and manipulated to frame somebody. And both are extremely scary situations. I don't wanna like, you know, cast an opinion on this guy without knowing uh, more details about his side of the story and everything. So I'm, I'm gonna hold back on that. But yeah, this is obviously one of the worst things that we probably ever heard associated with a rapper on this show and uh yeah i'm not really sure uh, what else we could say about it it's disgusting all the way around um you know honestly i don't even want to, to even get evidence and all this shit now bro because like just seeing that on my timeline bro was fucking dark as hell bro like that shit just ruined the fucking day like it's terrible bro and it's sad that a, a child would even be put in anything like that in the middle of bro it's sick as fuck yeah i mean when you guys were talking about it in the group chat i got to see y'all reacting to it before i even had a chance to listen to it and i was just like i'm not i don't need to listen to it i'll take your word for it because yeah that's that's just some of the worst shit i heard but i mean hopefully we can get some some clarity and a much better picture of who's telling the truth in regards to this whole thing terrible youtube like comment subscribe let us know what you think i guess and we'll be back real real soon